I can't let deer season end like that. Uh, we put in so much work into this area. I'm heading back in, man. We're a few hours after Thanksgiving dinner. I'm at the trailhead. I'm gonna hike in solo and see if I can get a buck. Wish me luck, man. Welcome to the adventure. Well, there we have it. All loaded up, sleeping pads, camera gear, rifle, seat, snowsuits in there, zero degree bag, to the woods. Right, all these rubs. This is the fourth or fifth one I found besides that one last week around that field. Look up there a little bit. You see the ground stirred up from an old scrape. Just up from that scrape and that rub. Found the active deer tracks, kids. Getting toward midday. Spent a couple hours scouting around, looking for more deer sign. I found some good runs uh, that are active, but I have to reposition myself, so I took my stuff down. I was like, right over there, still got some stuff there. Right over here, I've got a run that comes up like that, and one that comes through, and there's a big old scrape in here, and a rub up over there. And then we've got all that buck sign from that giant buck up and over there. I think, uh, I think I'm gonna make this work. Uh, let's see if I can get it done. It's just slowing down a bit. Haven't heard many gunshots, haven't heard much in the woods, so I figured I'd show you guys what I'm doing for camp. Just cleared the snow off. Just gonna hang a tarp and sleep on the ground. And there we have it. I'm just gonna put my ground pad and stuff under there and give me a place to store stuff, get out of the wind if it gets real bad. And a place to sleep. So that's it. That's what Solo true deer camp looks like no muss no fuss now if only the deer would show up I even went and made myself a little footrest so we just passed the major for the day figured I'd get my sleeping stuff set up so I don't have to do it when it gets dark thermorest pad under my light speed pad protect it a little bit from the ground my zero degree bag important with these uh, colder temperature bags to get them out, let them expand a little bit, let them get their loft up so they can keep you warm, do their job. So that's just what I'm doing, I'm just letting everything get, you know, fluffed back up. So I've redeployed my sense, my attractant sense. I've got a cover sense on myself, so I'm just trying to take myself out of the equation and let the attractants do their work, man. Sun's been below the tree line for a while. I think I've got about a half hour of daylight left. So, it got dark. Still didn't see anything, still didn't hear anything moving. Ah, uh, gonna pack up my stuff, pull into my tent. And then the battle to stay warm. Survival, the best game. Got everything collected. All the gears pulled back in under the tarp for the night. That's, uh, that's camp. The temperature. Uh, looks like about 30. It was like 40 something all day, low 40s, now it's low 30s. So my alarm started going off about an hour and a half ago, but it has been just a downpour since about 5 a.m. It's only 35, so if I get wet, I might die. I think we're hanging out under the tent until it stops raining in earnest. I guess I'm waiting it out. I've already spent 16 hours or more under this tarp. Every time I think the rain's going to stop, it just starts again. Rain slowed down, so while I can stretch my legs, I figured I would. Tent's holding up, but it is foggy. I'm gonna go check that big deer run and see if you can even tell if anything's been up or down it today. See if it's worth wandering around a little. There's that big run from yesterday. No new tracks, it's all just raindrops. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to stare out there and if anything happens to walk by in the 10 square feet I can see, I'll kill it. Otherwise, I'm just sitting here trying not to freeze to death in the rain. All right. You don't want to be the guy who gave up, but you don't want to be the guy who froze to death in the woods because he's stupid. And it's all about finding that line, right? Do I wait this out for another day or cram it all in, pack it up? 
call it a season. I don't know. And it's cold. I think I'm going to wait it out. I'll give you an idea of what I'm working with here. My orange snowsuit, I'm just wearing my base layer under it. Even the rest of my clothes here in case I get soaking wet. Uh, all my electronics are in this muff with some hand warmers. Some gloves on. Grab the rifle and the phone. Try and find something. I made it down to the big field. Uh, I'm going to stalk around for a little bit. It is super rainy, but not as cold, so. All John's bait is gone. And Dick's and mine remains largely untouched. Well, I think I could sit here for a couple hours before it gets cold, so. Maybe I'll make it till dark. I'm just going to try and dry my glasses off and hope for deer. I haven't really seen much. Maybe I heard some stuff moving. It's hard to tell in the rain. But the fog is definitely coming in. It is real foggy. And it is really cold. And this snowsuit is wet. And uh, get this snowsuit off and get my other clothes on and crawl into my zero degree bag and try and get some warmth in me. Okay, back at camp. It got dark quick. Glad I came down when I did. And it started to pour rain again, so yeah. Uh, snowsuit's pretty damp, but not as bad as I thought it was. Uh, base layer is still bone dry, so I'm just gonna crawl into that, into the sleeping bag. Really don't want to lay down yet, because once I lay down, who knows when I'm gonna have to get up. I will title this video, Another One Where They See No Deer. Unless I see deer. So I'm all tucked in, gonna go to bed. Uh, probably gonna wake up and go to John's tree stand again, since that's... I mean, there's at least bait there for him, I guess. It'll be good. Night, guys. Good morning. I gotta crawl out of my bag, put on my snowsuit and boots and stuff, and uh, go sit in John's tree stand till 10 or 11. Beaver friends have started moving a little. I've been starting to hear some rumblings on the backside of that hill behind John's tree stand. Since the initial little burst of beavers and chipmunks and birds I haven't seen anything moving nothing no animals it started snowing and getting windy so I got out of the tree it's not a good place to be when it's snowing and windy now I'm just hiking around all these hills and valleys busting my butt trying to find a deer they're just four giant scrapes up this footpath didn't see any rubs around but Man, I just haven't seen that many scrapes that close together before. Maybe I'll run into something. I don't know, it's all I got. We've got scat. Been following deer tracks, tons of scrapes, a couple of rubs. This is like the densest wooded part of this I've seen. We're on top of the tallest hill. I've been hiking for three or four miles, I still haven't seen anything. Not exactly sure where I am. Which means I should keep going, right? So after hiking around for a couple hours, covering four or five miles, getting myself real good and lost to the point where I decided I don't even want to shoot a deer because I wouldn't know how to get it out. Uh, I wandered my way back to the two track and I'm gonna go back to camp and pack up. It's, it's getting hot and I am just, I'm dehydrated and I need food. I'm not lost in the woods, I'm not gonna die. I did not freeze to death. And there, there you have it. Adventurer Drew, for the onward. Back to the car. I uh, didn't see anything. I haven't seen anything all season. Uh, but you better believe that's not it. That's not it. We still got a couple weeks of muzzleloader season, and there's always late bow season where we can go back to taking does again. 
So you know, if you like this video or you didn't, just uh, give it the thumbs up, click the subscribe button down at the bottom, I think it's over here, subscribe button, uh, you know, and follow all our media channels, at MI Adventure Life. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll get one eventually.